What's up guys, Boss here, and we're back with another YouTube video, and this time, I'm gonna be using RG, a slightly different variant than what I've made videos on a couple weeks ago. So, I pushed up a lot since my last video, I climbed up actually 400 trophies, I'm at 7,500 as you guys can see, 342nd in the world. So not like insanely high up, you know, we're not in the top 100 yet, but I climbed up about 400 since my last video season high is actually 7600 we'll try to get our way back there and i have mega minion in the deck instead of skeleton so a lot of rg players are actually doing this now i think this is actually a slightly better variant just because there's still a good amount of lava in the meta even after that balloon nerf there's also a lot of electro giant and you're gonna have an easier time winning those matchups when you have mega minion because you're gonna have better air support against things like balloon and stuff like that and even against things like electro giant because you have mega minion for their baby dragon which the baby dragon beforehand was very very obnoxious so ebarbs as you guys know really really broken and fisherman as well so much value on defense mother witch two best card in the game right now i think like ebarbs mother witch kind of tied for best card in the game both of them are like insanely strong right now and heal spirit to kind of help keep everything alive so before in first game if you guys want to support me use my creator code boss any super slow game really do appreciate it all you guys who do use my code means a lot. So let's get in the first game here. And also, uh, last thing I'll say is subscribe if you don't want to miss any of my videos. And I'll see you guys when we find the first match. Okay, here we go, guys. Found our game here versus Joff is God. So, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I apologize for not uploading yesterday. I was actually extremely busy yesterday. I had a my graduation. And then afterwards, I celebrated with my family. Went to a really, really nice restaurant afterwards the dessert was really good as well uh the dessert was called i think creme brulee is what it's called um it was really good and then it was had some really good uh steak as well very fancy restaurant it's probably the best restaurant i've ever been to um anyway that's why i wasn't the big uh yeah it was a big celebration yesterday so that's why i wasn't i didn't upload a video because i simply didn't have time but Anyway, back to the game here. Um, this guy's using Hog. And yeah, as I said, I'm going to try guys to upload um, six or seven days a week. If I'm very busy some weeks, might be five. But I'm going to try my goals to upload six or seven days a week. So that's kind of the plan. We'll see how it goes. So this guy might be using Viper's deck here. Because we've already, we've already seen the Hog. We've seen the Goblins and... The, the only thing, though, is he, he, he does have Tesla, so he's got, like, a like a slightly different variant. Maybe he has Tesla instead of the, I don't know, maybe instead of the Tornado? Not, not really sure to tell you guys the truth. Very, very interesting Tesla there. He's going to play that off to the right side, so we can RG on the left. He might NATO it into the Tesla, but looks like he instead is just going to do that, so... Again, very interesting that he decided to Tesla there. I almost feel like that might have been a little bit of a, uh, potentially a misclick. Might have not been what he was trying to do, but I don't, I don't know for sure. It was interesting regardless. So, we're going to go E-Barbs here. We got a little bit of dual lane pressure. We're going to heal spirit this lane here. And he's going to have a lightning. So, instead of Viper's deck with the rocket, as you guys know, he's going to have lightning instead. As well as Tesla, so a bit of an, a, a different variant. So we go Valk. I think we RG in the back here in the right lane, just because we already have the Mega Minion down in the left, and he's already played that Valk in the left lane. It makes more sense to play it in the right lane. I'm going to go for a High Mother Witch. I don't want to give him Lightning value. Uh, and then we're going to try to get away with Fisherman in the Executioner. He's probably going to go Goblins to protect it. There they are, as I expected. But we can log those, and he's actually going to Lightning, which is quite a big in my opinion elixir investment so we'll see if we can punish him now for that we're gonna pressure here a little bit we're gonna go for a heal spirit goes right into that so that wasn't that great actually um and he's gonna defend pretty easily the problem is that tesla gets him so much value uh let's go mega minion here not rg i guess and yeah, I feel like uh, he's going to Lightning most likely. He is. I don't know how I feel about that play, actually. Because, I mean, he got good Lightning value, but that was a lot of Elixir he just spent. So, 
kind of unsure of if that was a good play or not. He also gets the goblins down late, so he's unable to protect that executioner. He's going to go for the Valk. Fisherman, going to be able to pull it away. Good tornado, but Fisherman still locks on and pulls it. Heal Spirit does jump, and that should be good game because he's not going to have enough elixir to defend this. Bad Tesla, Mega Means going to get targeted, so very, very nice win there. Um, and yeah, not that bad of a matchup. I think, too, he was a little too aggressive at a couple points in the game, so that definitely helped us as well. Let's see where we're at right now. Top 300, let's keep working our way up and see if we can get back to 7,600. So I'll see you guys when I find the next match. Here we go. We found our next game versus Nestor. Give him the good luck. I think he's a bit lower than us, so a win here won't actually give us that much, unfortunately. But we don't want to lose because then we would lose like 40 trophies. He's going to have a ghost. It's probably going to be Pekka. Here we go, Heal Spirit. Heal them up. Give us, you know, a little more counter push potential. Fireball that. Does go for the Battle Rim. So we are going to need a log here to make sure. Ooh, not a. Uh, yeah, he. You know, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I didn't even notice that. Then he messed up the kite at first. I was focusing on the Battle Rim, making sure I was playing defense. And then next thing I know, I look up. I already took half of his right tower because he misplayed the Battle Rim. He probably needed to play it a tile higher because e-barbs are so fast and one of them can push the other one out of the way so you got to be careful with the, those kites and this guy as you can see messed that up but he's not the only one a lot of people mess that up actually so he is gonna go for the pekka um we're gonna have to watch out here this is this defense could get a little little difficult if we're not careful um and see this is where Oh, nice. The E-Barb does stay alive. So at least we're going to get some counter push potential. But I was going to say, this is where things get a little tricky. When they go in for, you know, a Battle Ram and a P.E.K.K.A. Like at the same time in opposite lanes when it's in single Elixir. Because your cycle is slower and kind of a little awkward when you have that Mega Minion. But when we get into... Not a good Zap, by the way. Bandit doesn't get any hit on our Tower or Dash because of that. So we wasted a Zap, in my opinion. Um, we still got the lead, so we're looking good. Um, but that's what I was going to say. Single Elixir is very, very tough when you're against P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Bam. Um, it's almost impossible to avoid taking, like, all damage and stuff like that. We're going to go Mother Witch here. Kind of getting drop delay, which is annoying uh, on that Mother Witch. Like, I didn't play it late. I genuinely got drop delay. It's, it's actually an issue I've been having the last couple days for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why, but hopefully... Uh, it's something that fixes itself out pretty soon. We're going to go Mega Minion here. I'm going to go for a Log. And then I guess we're going to go for um, E-Barbs. Not a good Magic Archer. Even though he's going to get some damage, I think that was too aggressive. And now he's not going to have the Elixir he needs to defend. He doesn't have enough to afford a P.E.K.K.A. right away. By the time he plays it, he will lose his tower for sure. So 20 seconds to go. Um, we just have to defend the left lane and we should be good. Um, we're just going to go for a Fisherman, and he's going to go P.E.K.K.A. He's got, like, no time. He might try to Magic Archer or something. Yeah, the GG. It's over. So P.E.K.K.A., you can see, isn't too bad. Um, you just have to, in Single Elixir, be really careful because your cycle can get a little bit awkward. But I would say I generally beat P.E.K.K.A. maybe, like, 60% of the time, something like that. So definitely a matchup that isn't too bad. So let's get into our next game here and see if we can, uh... Yeah, keep keep winning here. Oh, it actually didn't take long to find at all. It took like five seconds. So reverse Aratos here. Um, give him the good luck, and see what he wants to do. I could cycle heal spirit if he's not gonna do anything. But then after that, I might just wait a few seconds. I mean, there's no need to rush things. We we don't necessarily have you know. It's not an expensive deck, but it's not a cheap deck at the same time, you know? It's, like, medium cost, so there's no, like, rush to, you know, be making plays. We can cycle Log, and if he's still not going to do anything, we'll wait even longer and then maybe go for a Mega Minion. He could have something like Electro Giant or Golem. Um, I don't I don't know for sure, but otherwise I don't think he'd be waiting. I think if he had anything else, he would be playing things, but I guess we'll cycle Mega Minion and see if now he's going to want to do something. Arrows are going to come down, so very interesting play coming out for me right here. You might be wondering why I'm doing this. Well, because he just arrowed a Mega Minion, which is an even trade, but it's at half health, so we get it to support our RG, right? He's going to go for... 
uh, lol, elixir golem. To control a video device with your voice, you need to connect it first. In the Alexa app, go to settings and then TV and video to get started. I don't know if you guys hear that, heard that my Alexa got activated in the background for some reason. So we are going to get the king activated. We're losing slightly, but we have a slight lead. Um, and this guy, very, very, very interesting deck. Um, I don't know what this is yet, even though it looks like it's Elixir Golem. I don't know for sure because he has Dark Prince. So I just don't know yet to tell you guys the truth. But... You know, my guess obviously would have to be Elixir Golem. To control a video device with your voice, Alexa, you need to connect it. stop. I keep, <laughs> keeps getting activated. I wonder if it's because I'm saying Elixir Golem. Okay, so we're going to take his tower. And if you guys are wondering what Alexa is, it's like a robot, uh, kind of like a device that, you know, you can set alarms on. It tells you things like temperature, stuff like that. Anyway, we're getting completely off topic. I don't know why that kept happening. Anyway, um, we should be able to win this game here. 20 seconds to go. Um, and yeah, Elixir Golem isn't really, I would say... Yeah, that bad of a matchup. I think it sucks in the meta, too, so I don't really know why this guy's using it, but good win regardless. Um, interesting deck. Like, I don't know why he had Dark Prince. I'm actually kind of curious maybe to, like, check his profile and see if there was, like, a card he didn't use or something. You could see, because I'm, I'm curious now. Yeah, he, he has... Why does he have three spells? That's such a strange Elixir Golem deck. Like, I don't understand that at all, but... Anyway, we're one game away now, I think, from 7,600. We'll see if we can get it and continue uh, this win streak. Well, I guess we're only on a two-game win streak, but see you guys when I find the next match. Here we go versus Toto. Give this guy the good luck. Let's go Zapple Fisherman. Hmm, so Lava is easier with Mega Minion, but we don't have E-Barbs in Cycle. That's so annoying, because usually when someone Lavas, I like to go E-Barbs at the bridge, so not the best starting hand for sure. Yeah, nothing we could really do about that. Uh, no E-Barbs in Cycle. Very, very unfortunate. Um, like I said, when someone Lava's in the back first play, I really like having E-Barbs. Um, so that was a shame we didn't have that available. I'm going to Mother Witch. He's not back to his Fireball yet. He's going to need to play, I think, a couple more cards. At least one. So Inferno Drag is going to come down. Uh, I think in this matchup, we can't get... RG damage that easily because he's going to have Inferno Drag. We have to get a lot with our... Wait, wait, wait. This is... Hold on, hold on, guys. Look at this. Look at this. What the... I'm going to log, I guess. Wow, we already took his tower just from the Mother Witch, essentially, which is why I said the Mother Witch is really broken, too. It's not just the E-Barbs, you know? We're going to Mega Minion this. I'm going to distract the Inferno Drag with a Fisherman. Go like this. Fisherman might even get a hit on the tower too. It does. We're going to RG in the pocket. We have the Mega Minion supporting. Perfect RG in the pocket. At the same time, he decides to go for a Lava Hound in the back. I wasn't even predicting that. We just got lucky. I should have probably said it was a prediction just to, you know, make my make me seem like a god. But it was not a prediction. Uh, we did, in fact, get lucky. But, man, it worked. So it doesn't matter either way. He is going to go for a Balloon. Um, you know, even though he could just zap and still take the tower, I'm going to fireball anyway, just because it is still 
a positive elixir trade it's a four for so essentially he had to spend seven elixir and i only spent four on defense is the way i look at it and it's forcing him to use a zap that he probably didn't want to have to use so i mean it's good to save the tower anyway even if you know they're gonna take it um in some cer in certain situations so i'm gonna go fisherman to pressure i'm gonna actually we could, i'm just gonna cycle spells i think because I'm pretty confident we can just... Oh, that gets healed up, and Fisherman takes the tower. There we go. You get a win there versus Lava Hound. You can see Lava Hound is so much easier to beat when you have the Mega Minion. That is one of the main reasons why a lot of RG players are using Mega Minion now instead of the Skeletons, as you saw there. So, going to put us back to 7,600. We're actually at our season highest right now, looking really solid. Um, so, let's go in our next game here, and I think we'll play probably a couple more games. We'll see. Here we go, Thyrex game versus Abdul. Abdul Allah, I guess. I think that's how you pronounce it. So, Cycle Heal Spirit? Go Log? I'm going to go Uiz. Um, we'll Molly Witch, we'll Molly Witch. Pekka, maybe? Uh, what? Ice Wizard? Ice Wizard and E-Wiz in the same deck? Huh? What? Ah! This is scary. I was not expecting that. That, that was a little scary because... Uh, I mean, nothing, he didn't take any damage, but it was a little scary regardless. I was worried, like, he would freeze or something, but he didn't have the elixir to freeze or do something. I don't even know if he has freeze. I'm just saying, like, if he does and he did that, that would have freaked me out a little bit. Let's try to get our King Tower activated. Dang. Pressure here. Prediction log? No, the E was at 1 HP. Oh, if that died, we probably would have almost taken the tower. All good, all good. We're looking all right, we're looking all right. I think we're maybe down like one elixir or so, but we got a huge lead right now. No, we're not even down elixir. That's really good. All right, so let's see here. There's probably a card he hasn't used yet that we got to watch out for. He does. Alright, there we go. So we do see that card. It is going to be the Inferno Drag. So, got to make sure we're able to take that out without too much trouble. Maybe have to fireball that or something. Yeah, actually, this is. Well, that's quite a fireball. Inferno Drag is. Oh, no. All right, let's watch out for uh we gotta be careful about this inferno drag king tower does get activated really good fisherman and he doesn't tornado it always do that when you have the chance because when you get that king tower activated versus graveyard it just makes things so much easier i'm gonna try to pull this bowler forward oh shoot i misclicked my okay let's actually rg we're gonna fireball to reset his inferno drag And then we should... Okay, we get one hit, even though he froze. He played the freeze a little late. And interesting e -whiz. I do not know how I feel about that play. We're going to pressure with another RG here. We got the pigs helping out. And then we'll fireball the Inferno Drag once again. This time, hopefully able to take it out. Or at least... Yeah, we do take it out. Let's go. And yeah, you guys can see, when we get that King Tower activated it's pretty much over because he can't really punish us because he has to freeze both the king tower and the arena tower but he can't do that if i'm playing my mother witch in the corner so we can fireball i don't know why he just did that thank you for that free fireball value sir we're gonna log this and go mega minion 
And, you know, like, like he's trying here. He's, like, really doing everything he can, but he just cannot break through. We can go Mother Witch, Fireball, Log, take the dub here. Really nice win again. Um, as soon as we got that King Tar activated, that changed into a matchup that's probably, like, about 50-50. Like, an even matchup into it being an absolute hard counter for us, because you just can't simply play any offense in that game. So, there we go. Again, new season highest, 209th in the world. If we win our next game... We'll get in the top 200. If we lose, I guess we lose, and that sucks. But I think this will be the last game of the video. And guess, I don't know why I say this every single time, but I guess I'll see you guys when I find it. I don't know what else I should say. Give me ideas. Maybe I'll say, let's get in the next game. I'll say that too. Sometime. I don't know. We should, we should mix it up and not say the same thing every single time. Anyway. Okay, reverse Herald here. This is our last game, win or loss. He's gonna, oh shoot, go Hog first play at the of the game when I am not ready. Unfortunately, Hog is gonna get a hit. He's gonna have 2.6 Hog cycle, it looks like. So we'll go Heal Spirit here. Maybe trying to get the E-Barbs healed up to get it. I think this match will be up to RG in the back, so we'll do that now. A cycle musketeer so i guess we'll go mother witch and we have to wait because that ice golem was tanking but we are going to get the king activated this is a matchup that if we had skeletons instead of the mega it would be way way easier because his cycle is insanely fast compared to mine. If I had Skeletons, this would be a very easy matchup. But with Mega Minion, I think it's going to be a bit trickier. But we'll do our best and see if we can keep up with his cycle all right. I'm going to pressure here. Just to force a lot of Elixir out of him. And so I can keep up with his cycle. So I'm forcing Elixir out of him. So that way I can go E-Barbs the next time. He goes in for that Hog Rider. We're going to log this now for the time being. And then we're going to take the couple Musketeer hits. Because he already got a good chunk of damage in the right lane. So obviously I'm willing to take a little bit in the left lane. He is going to go for a Fireball. And he's not even going to get a, a Hog hit because of that. Let's actually go for a Mother Witch. Um, unfortunately, he does log. I was hoping he would play Skeletons. So that was a smart play on his end to do that. To make sure I didn't spawn those pigs. But here we go, that's going to jump, and then we're going to get some pigs there. Fireball comes out from him, so he's playing a lot of elixir, he probably doesn't want to have to play. So we're going to RG in the back here, he might go in for a hog, we'll see. It looks like instead he's just going to set up defense, because he's really, really low on elixir right now, compared to me. We're going to fireball this musketeer, and see what he wants to do from here. He's going to set up a cannon, so... Maybe heal spirit to heal up the RG... And then we're going to go Mother Witch to try to get some pigs to spawn here. Fireball to push that back. And look at this, guys. Oh, my gosh. Wait, 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 wait. This is... Okay, look at this. Uh, heal Spirit. Maybe heal that. All right. We're looking good, though, guys. Look at that. We came back, like, like instantly. You know, like, we were... We were pretty much, like, losing. And then out of nowhere, we came back. And just straight up overwhelmed them. Hog most likely gets a hit because the E-Barbs were played late. No, it doesn't. It still doesn't get a hit. That's insane. Gonna try to... Uh, RG didn't get a hit. We're going to fireball that. He's going to go fireball very aggressively. So I'm going to slip on my Mother Witch. He places the cannon. RG gets a hit. Somehow, some way. And he plays a hog right into a fisherman. Oh! 
Oh my gosh, beautiful heal spirit. We can't let that hog get a hit. We got it. Let's go. We win. I thought it was going to be harder with us having Mega Me in because it just doesn't get as much value as the Skeletons. But in a couple situations, it actually got some good value. We managed to keep up with this cycle. Only 21 trophies, but it's good to pick up 21 trophies than lose, obviously, you know, almost 40. So there we go. That's going to for sure put us into the top 200. Amazing, amazing video. Um, that, that went by. That just went perfect i mean we lost one game in the middle of me recording it but i decided not to show it because it was the second game of the video and also it was a really hard counter and i generally i'm fine showing losses but if it's like not even close and it's also like one of the very first games of the video i decided i'm from now on i'm probably not going to show it um but if after the first couple games like if i lose a game and i think it was like close like a good one to show i'll definitely show it or even if it wasn't close but i just don't think showing at the very beginning of the video a loss versus a hard counter is very good because that's just it's kind of discouraging it's disappointing you know um but i really hope you guys enjoyed uh this video i i actually had like a lot of fun recording it it went so well i mean we won three four uh we won six games and only lost one the like one i didn't show actually um but yeah that's gonna put us in the top 200 um yeah guys so now that I'm, i officially have graduated um i was done my classes like a couple weeks ago but i officially graduated um yeah had as, as i said had a big celebration yesterday done done high school completely so gonna try to upload videos six days a week six days a week will probably be the average and i just say that because yes yeah, some weeks might be seven you know but also there could be a couple weeks occasionally where i might only be able to do five but more videos regardless so let's uh yeah set that goal for hundred thousand subs by the end of the year so make sure to like the video if you guys enjoyed it subscribe if you're not subscribed already and thanks again until next time guys